pencils, crayons, and iPads? Preschoolers at the Flint Hill School in Virginia have their hands full when it comes to learning in their tech-heavy classroom. We see the, the iPad um, not as a sort of a consum or as a device for consumption, but rather to create and connect. One of the few schools in the country with an iPad for each student, parents say the curriculum promotes future success. The more they can get their hands on it and learn it, the easier it's going to be for them in the future. Unlike traditional media, tablets are interactive, and students here produce picture books and converse with pen pals on Skype. I did it. Uh, that doesn't exist in their, in their world when they're watching it, uh, any kind of a, of a traditional passive screen. But of course, that's very, very different when they pick up something like today's iPad. But when it comes to technology in the classroom, how young is too young? Only a short drive away, the Washington Waldorf School doesn't allow any electronics in class. And preschoolers are getting hands-on in a different way. We really respect and honor, honor childhood as a state that doesn't need to be rushed through. While the American Academy of Pediatrics has no official position on iPad use in preschools, doctors say moderation is key. It becomes an issue of what's being displaced. You're spending a lot of that brain energy on this iPad and not perhaps enough of it on uh, human interaction and, and three-dimensional manipulations. Whether they're drawing on this tablet or that one, for parents, the goal of finding high-quality education remains the same. Maggie Mazzetti, The Associated Press.